One neat feature in Google Earth is the ability to view historical imagery for certain areas. Uh, this is older aerial imagery, sometimes going back as far as nearly 80 years, although most of it's from the last 20 or so. And here's how it works. Uh, we'll fly down. This is a church near me. It's got some neat historical imagery we'll take a look at. So when you're looking at something, you see the current date in the corner. Um, next to that, you'll see a little turn back the clock icon for historical imagery, along with the date showing the oldest imagery for that area. So we can click that, and it'll jump right through and give us the oldest imagery there. And I like this because it was a sprawling church, and now you can see how it looked back in 1993. Using the controls at the top, we can sort of step through time and see what we've got. So the next one they have is from 99. You can see they added on Sanctuary on the side and keep jumping forward. They've got a building in the back going under construction. Going further, that building's done now. Um, and then, of course, we can just keep stepping through. And as we get more recent, there's a, another building in the back here. Um, the imagery gets tend to have more frequent updates the further along we get. Um, you can just keep going and flipping through to see what all you've got. Imagery is kind of dull there now. The current one is pretty sharp and nice. Um, using this icon at the top is another way to get into it. You can always click that to pull up this slider. The button at the bottom is just a quick way to show you how old the imagery is for that area um, and give you a quick way to jump to that. But from anywhere, you can hit this guy at the top and then use the slider to drag around. Another thing to keep in mind is that sometimes the imagery you see as the base layer isn't the newest imagery available. Sometimes Google will capture and process imagery that's just not quite as good as what's already there. Um, this is not the case in here, but if they were to capture some new imagery for this area, perhaps, they may load it into the database and realize, eh, it's not as good as what's there, so they'll add it to historical imagery, but not have it as the base layer. So you're, you know, this imagery date really is just from a matter of months ago, but in some places you can click on the historical imagery and actually drag it forward and see newer imagery than what Google Earth typically shows you. Again, typically with clouds in it or color saturation not a solid. Some reason they chose not to make it the default layer, but it's a neat way to sometimes grab a, a newer snapshot of an area if you're looking for a certain feature that's been recently added. So that's a quick look at historical imagery in Google Earth.